the Lions that have the 6 2 split on the bench. The first of those two backline players being Jordan Hendrickson, who may face his brother Jaden in the second half. Cohen Bush gets us underway. Nice flat kick, difficult to deal with. Great oh, start. It's a wobbly one. He's, he's got a wobbly one and a lucky yep. bounce, and it's deceived everyone. Every now and then you need a bit of luck, and Kerwin Bosch got it there. Not his best strike, but certainly the result absolutely outstanding. Couldn't have wished for better. Just hold on. Are you in or out? Lions have gone straight to a three man lineup. Little pot at the back there. Landsberg will be the target so often is great line-out jumper for the Emirates Lions and a head of steam being built up by JP Smith use it Fannenberg That's Q and Horn waiting in the pocket massive left Old boot three. on this young man Old. Yeah, decent exit nice simple line out Just the three man and Landsberg right and picked him up nicely Good ball, good clearance. Q and Horn is uh, maybe one of the unsung heroes in this Lions team. They've scored a lot of tries out in the back three there. Numbers? He's, he's, he's not Numbers. scored all those tries, but he's been prolific in the way he's gone about things. That's a bit the dummy. Krodler, the receiver. Quickly away from the back, courtesy of Lovus Skachny. Hard run from Francois Fenter. Cleared by Williams. Good pace of play from the Sharks early on. Rattling through the phases, Butalezi. Upended, Williams goes left again and looks to snipe on his own. Played two matches on the wing at the World Cup for the Springboks. Here's Etzebeth. Kanye. Throwing his weight around. Williams. Problem. Returning from injury. Here's Bosch. The Lions defense holding firm on the 22. Williams gets it away quickly. Bosch, his pass can't go to hand. Quick hands, just not accurate enough. Went behind. Lucan, you have no chance of really grabbing that. Nice feisty start from the shot. One off run is quite predictable, but attacking that game line with good vigor. Grant Williams, real pacey scrum off. Loves to run and carry him. Maybe the rush defense is catching Kirwan Bosch on the way there. A little off guard. It wasn't just the, the rush, it was the angle the rush came from. It just came from the outside in and meant he was under enormous pressure to get the pass away. 16 penalties conceded by the Hollywood Bet Sharks against the Stormers last time out on the 30th of December. A lot of those penalties came at scrum time. Yeah, and, and you just can't help feel that they were so close to you finding a way to win a game that they didn't Crouch. deserve to and that they shouldn't have won and at some point they're going to click and start Five. winning games they're going to build that winning culture some Six. country will be hoping it's this afternoon oh boy the lions ready to eat at scrum time Fandenberg breaks from the back no penalty advantage waiting they were really inspired by that performance Chituka whose brother is injured and unavailable for the Sharks today. Use it! A very obvious ruck set up there by Ruben Skuman, going to ground almost before the defender Touch. arrived. And Vandenberg gets charged, half charged. Well, you mentioned it in the build up. A number of Springboks in the Sharks team, very Black few in the, the Lions team, if the line none. Here. But a lot of young players, a lot of players you just get through their work in a real in a really good yep. way and there's no doubt that Mornay van der Berg is one of those yeah those young scrum mobs who just delivers um, there's just so many great scrum mobs around in another area he might have been a springbok half of those scrum mobs are at the shots PJ Borton Landsberg contested at the front by Edzebeth and Fezel the knock on oh unlucky Unlucky, great contest. Yeah, it's a bet it was. He's, he's got up there at the front. Look at that. Oh, and that's knocked on. Basically, Mona Pereira's got that one. Knocked, knocked on by Darren Landsberg. 
patience between one and seven. Then knocked off face and butter. Emirates Lars will be lucky to be getting the, the put into the scrum. Seconds. Second scrum. It, 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 is, it is always a private battle, the battle of the front rows, and the Lions seem to have the advantage in that first scrum. Bind! Set! And the Ryakovs replacing Kuni Uostazen in the Sharks' front row, holding up strong this time against Nkhabakanyet. Here comes... Edward van der Merwe cutting in off the wing. What an impact he's had since coming to the Joburg base team. She took up the glass control. Jakobs there. Cleans it up. Away to Labiskachny. Fenter sends it to Fassi. Fassi. Brought down by Henku van Veek. Henk van Veek! Ho ho! How quick was he onto his feet? 21 year old outside centre. Huge talent. Massive reputation as a schoolboy. Spent a bit of time injured, but when he has had the chance to play, particularly this season, he has done outstandingly well. And that, another special moment for the young man. Got across there, made the tackle on the, the weekend express up a little fussy, and then got got to feet quickly and won the penalty. Look at this. He makes the tackle up on his feet. Taylor wins the ball. Just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Seven games, five tries in the URC3 for Henku van Veek. Fassi has been in good form this year as well. He has, he has found his feet up at Fassi. He was a little off about two years ago and neglected by Rusty Erasmus, but has certainly come to the fore. Good line up from the Lions. Here's another one of their young charges. Fenter charging forward. Tackle first, it's a roll. Penalty advantage, nobody surely has retreated the 10 front and back! That's a knock on. Number one, not 10. Oh. Got back 10. Box and chair, the man penalised. I want to find a bird. We, we praised him a moment or so ago. He's tapped and gone in the. Stop. Right in the middle of the. Stop, stop, stop. M1 stop. traffic. Summer almost found a way through. So it's going to be Sanele Nohamba, a former Shark scrum off. He's played a lot with Kerwin Bosch, is going to kick for goal now. Made the, the conversion from scrum off to fly off and done it really well. Puts the first points on the board in this match. It's Lions 3, Sharks no. Well, Mona van der Berg just lost it on the, on the trial line as he was trying to score it, according to Mone Ferreira. Three points the reward, though. Bosch sends it high to restart the match. Landsberg under duress. Gets the job done. Use it! Fannenberg, way to PJ Borta. Very composed in their build up, coming off a three week break by the Emirates Lions. Looks supremely confident here away from home in a place they haven't won in going on seven years now. Not a great distance on that box kick, but well reclaimed by the Lions. Courtesy of a couple of hands, finishing with J.P. Smith and now Kewen Horn. Played plenty of the match thus far in their own half, and Kewen Bosch looks to take it back into that territory again. Stopped on the halfway line. Oh, what a tackle by Chituka. The Sharks consolidate. It's Williams, the Frobler. They've won two out of ten matches this season in all competitions. So they need to find a way to become All familiar black. with winning again. Fassi goes high. Creel that under works. this, a difficult one to take in the sunshine. Clever kick, wasn't it? Up a Fassi. Didn't go for the massive booming boot. Just hung it out there and in the sun. 
made it very difficult for young Richard Creel. Well, we often chat about oh. winning the game line contest. Look at this from Emmanuel Chituka. Good leg drive, driving Kerr and Bosch back. Certainly making a sharp start on the back foot, which is exactly why Pelele first he kicked it away. Over the 15. Lata feeds Lapis Labuskachny, taking it at line on time. The Lions halting the momentum of the shot scrum, growing more of it. Mbata at the back. Time surely up, and Williams ready to clear a floating ball to Fenter. He's made the very most of that. Williams. Ooh, and Bata no chopped down wrap. low by former Shark and captain of the Lions, Marius Lowe. And Cher. Williams having to dig that one out, an advantage to the Sharks, and Fenter sending it wide to Mapimpi. Going backwards. 12, clear attempt to wrap, please. Twelve, clear attempt to wrap. So no wrap there from Marius. No, there was also hands on the ground and attempted scoop could have been a number of penalties. Kerwin Bosch. Shot clock starts now. He does have his faults, Kerwin Bosch, but kicking for goal is not one of them. He is a brilliant striker of the ball. Boy, he's been good since he moved to the Lions. Marius, like former Sharks player. There's a great history between these two teams of players swapping and coming over. There's the no wrap and there's the hands on the floor. Could have gone either. Well, it could have been two penalties for the Sharks in one shot. It's coming back to Marius Lowe then, and, and the history. And so in the build up, Butch yeah, James, now. one of the players who played for both sides in the number 10 position. Marius Lowe in the number 12 position. He's moved to the Lions. It's been a fresh of breath there for him and for the Lions. Captaining the side now. Stalwart. Kerwin Bosch, straight and true. The Sharks draw level. It's three points apiece. Quick question, John. Did anybody ever give you the private jet treatment? Yep. Not for rugby. <laughs> Oh, Butch James arriving when he signed for the Lions, as we saw in the build-up, in a private jet. Brilliant scenes. Two teams level now. We're in the 13th minute. Horn. Great kick off there. Grobler having to make up ground, Back and he's knocked red. it on as a result. Bonus knock on. Yep. Back off red was the first call. Oh, no. So first from Black. Got a call. First from Black. From Stefan Geldenes. Knock on of red. First one black, then off red. Bizarrely there for a second, it looked like Mone Ferreira missed the initial knock-on. Clearly knocked forward by Herman Krobla. Yeah, first off black, then off red. Well, the scrum's been yeah. quite interesting so far. Emirates Lions yeah, controlled the first one. Hollywood Bet Sharks were pretty decent in the second. One man who has impressed me throughout the course of the season, mainly because he's managed to get quite fit. Is Asanate Klavakanya. Big unit, big man. Struggled with his fitness for a while. He carries a bit of extra weight there. Gives him a bit more weight and power and strength in the scrum, but it does make him a little less mobile. His fitness has come on in leaps and bounds. Crouch! Bind! He is scrumming Six. against this Springbok little mighty man, Oxen Chair. Okay, use it. Great contest. Fantastic holding firm this time, and Marius Lowe crossing the game line. Quick ball for Vandenberg. They do not seem to have skipped a step in their three weeks off. Tough to deal with for Edwin van der Williams takes one straight to the face, and the Lions can't hold on. Just hung that pass out in no man's land, really, wasn't it?
Bulls. Time back on. And the fans have come in and played the game. And summer rugby in particular is a great Rush. attraction, isn't it? Find. Set. Patient there, I'm happy with his hold. Patience, he also for a longer cadence. Think about some of the players that this Sharks team are missing, particularly in the front row. No Bongi on Bonambi, no Thomas to toy. It's, uh, it's an area of the game that they've, they've managed to just find ways to to not come unstuck, really, when, you, when you're when missing some of your best players, some of your marquee players. Crouch! To your point about Mine. the lines, this is an area of their game they pride themselves on. They, they find a way to just find advantage at, at scrum time when they shouldn't. Solid scrum from both sides that time. Here's Lukanyuan to Mapimpi. Prolific try scoring record across the Vodacom URC matches he's played. Etzebeth and Butelezi getting in each other's no. way. No. Williams. Oh. Looks ready to play quickly. But now he's got himself a caterpillar to work with to make sure that his kick won't be charged. Corn attempts all the same. After this one, Mapimpi. Very well taken by Creel. Fannenberg. Klabakanya sets the ruck on their own 10 meter line. The Lions still losing a territorial battle, but Let's go. no worries for them as they're still drawn at 3 3 as we approach the first quarter of the match being concluded. Williams, Bata finds Bosch, Bosch in motion, Bosch taking on him, Kabakanya just didn't have someone off the shoulder to capitalize, here's Um in motion, the Sharks looking solid now, Mapimpi asks the question, Horn makes his hit. Williams plays short to the big man, Bosch now with the offload to Hrubler, the Sharks getting about their business, Bosch skips out Fenter, here's Um, Bata with the offload to Fassi. Fassi taking on the defenders. That's the 22 meter line of the Lions. The Sharks in full flow. Labiskakhni. Numbers out to the left. They go right, and here's Fassi. He asks the question, beats the first defender. Van den Berg makes the tackle. Crossing the game line with every possession. It's gone backwards, and Bosch feeds Hrubler the offload. Horn disrupts it. The Lions get their clutches on it. The most crucial of moments. Here's Horn. Frustration for those in black and white, and the Lions once again able to consolidate. Vandenberg looking out for exactly where Ibn is cover. this time. The clearance kick solid. Play the Sharks look positive there. Fassi keen to get going quickly. Here is Makazole Mapimpi. Met in defense. Um, seen plenty of ball early on. Cleared by Williams to Mbata, phase after phase for the Sharks, Williams. Great pressure around the ruck from PJ Porter and the Sharks all of a sudden on their skates, no. able to hold on to the ball. Off his step, all of his step. Venacock prepared to chase, Williams calling for support at the base of that ruck. Long movement of play, including that quick throw in from Fassi. Not a great deal of depth on that, but almost perfectly measured in the end. That's a bet getting it amongst it, but the Lions fortuitously coming up with it. And will find a man for sent packing. A fearless winger, the number 11 from the Lions. He is in Klabakanya. He won't be put backwards. Vandenberg, cool and calm, walking up to this ruck. The score's level. We're in the 20th minute. Use it! And the Lions, who have not won here since 2017. That's Looking competitive early on. That's a bet, drills him in. It's become Just a hallmark of his play over the past few years. That's a bet. Putting pressure in and around the rack. Using his height and his long limbs and his power to Use disrupt it. the game plan. Nohamba, the number 10, who has spent most of his life as a nine, steps in to fill the void. It's a Beth after that one as well, but Nahamba gets it clear. Back on black. Not too deep. Great contest from Fanamerva. 
lung busting period of play for both teams. Fassi weighing up his options. The chase is quite deep for the Sharks on this one. Good kick all the same. Well, territory obviously important for the Sharks. No, let's carry on. But what a great passage of play. Both teams yeah. just trying to build Love momentum. Blood the Sharks in particular. The as well. Lions hanging on there. Water break at nine. Strong defensive work blood. from both teams when the ball is in the hand of the opposition. And the ball lifted. A slight pause at the no, moment. Nine, Maybe uh, a water uh, break. Red. It gives Lucanio a yeah. chance to put his boot back on. Break. I think John Plumtree will be quite pleased with that series Thanks. of attack. There was a little moment the coup and Bosch realised that he had Clubber Kanye in front of him. And Fez, and, and uh, I think it might have been PJ Buerta, and he attacked the game line, and he really tried to get around one and talk another defender and play someone into space. Didn't quite come off, but that's what the, the Sharks will be looking for. More of the same. Pick that weak spot in the defence and try and exploit it. And John Plumtree has come out recently and said quite explicitly, you can't buy a rugby team, it's never been done. And the Sharks have expended a lot of change, shall we say, on many Springboks and high-profile players. John Plumtree has the pressure over the next season and beyond to change this into a functional side. I think the risk with buying a team and bringing in some of the big-name players is they don't get to play for you as much as you would want. They have Springbok duty, they're arrested when uh, the Springbok coach requires them to be, you know, nursed and looked after, and this is just seeing Mornay van der Berg getting wrapped up by Ivan Etzebeck, who read it brilliantly, just understood where, when he could play van der Berg, and, oh, came the clean out, the attempt to clean out from PJ Puerto, he probably cannoned into his own scrum off. Yep. But just coming back to Plum, he's, he's, he's got a big job, doesn't he? He's, 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 he's got a team here where he's got one or two weaknesses, to be fair. He's got some great players, yep. he's got... Um, some great players he doesn't get enough game time out of, enough usage out of. And then he's got he's got to build a team that that everyone that one. in Durban, the shareholders in the, the US, they want to see wins, and they want to see let's try and beat up trophies well. in the cabinet. It's, it's, a, it's a big challenge hey guys, he's got. <laughs> and, and they don't want to see it in three years' time either, by the way. They want to see it tomorrow. <laughs> That's for sure. Well, I guess every team has the same challenges. Absolutely. And of course, in the next two months, we've just Ox. found out that the Springboks Ox. will be getting some rest. Yeah. I like Ox. Time back on. Quickly taken by Borta. Clever stuff to the front of the line out from the Lions. Stop. They're playing Stop. with supreme confidence, the Sunrise yeah. Lions side, in comparison to years gone by. But the Sharks have the bit between their teeth as well. Oh, Pimpi feeds Fassi. Oh, it's a different season, this one, for Fassi. He's playing top rugby. Yeah, once again, beats the first defender. Always. He isn't here. What a year he's had. Williams gets it away to Bosch. Oh, great interplay there. Fenter to arm now. Fenter, not much space to work with here for Cock. Cock cutting back inside. Oh, maybe a penalty coming available. here. Difficult for Williams to get the ball. All's well that ends well. No penalty advantage. Lobiskachny. Bosch. Etzebeth. Movement on the outside. Numbers for the Sharks. Can they make it happen? Fassi finds Mapimpi. Picture tells the story, doesn't it? The Pimpy's in at the corner, but what a beautiful team try that is. Good pressure, tip to tip. A moment a second, a moment ago, it was Vanna Cock down the right. Now it's Mapimpi on the left. Around the corner comes Lucanio. The timing good. Fussy was smiling, but Pimpy's in at the corner. Oh, this is pretty to watch. Nice and simple at the end, but all the hard graft done on the far side. Lions defence just yep. running out of numbers and yep. Papalele Fassi read it perfectly. Had his World Cup snatched away from him by injury. Similarly so, his teammate, Lukanyo Am. And more belatedly so, another one of their teammates, Bongi Mbonambi, is very much on the recovery trail. Healing that knee injury that he sustained in the process of the Springboks winning. Trophy. 
Rush. Two out of two today. Ten points to three. The Sharks lead over the Lions. Yeah, deservedly so. This is a super team try, isn't it? Well orchestrated, well finished off. Up a little fussy, nice and supple. Draw the last defender in at the corner goes Mapimpi, but as we said, the build-up was great. The control in the midfield, superb. Between Kerr and Bosch, Ron Williams, they moved the ball into the right area at the right time. Deep restart from the Lions. Lebeskachny has to get up off the ground as quickly as possible, sensing that pressure from the Lions approaching. Got an interesting match on our hands here. Grant Williams taking his time. Jaden Hendricks are waiting on the bench. Tremendous talented halfback for the Sharks. And there's another one of their previous halfbacks, Senele Nohamba. Q and on, met in defense by Fenter. The former Lion. The number six in the black jersey today. JP Smith at halfback. Pass straight into the bread basket. Marius Lowe hangs it up expectantly, and Edward van der Merwe puts in the grabber, goes just too long. Mone van der Berg was the man who cleared out at the breakdown, which is why there was a tight forward at scrum off. That little pass was just hung out there in the air there, wasn't it? Real trust in Edward van der Merwe. He is a gas man, he does get there quickly. They're on behind. Much more powerful than he looks, but he had, he had a bit of work to do to snatch it out the air and get going and put it, to, put it on the boot quite quickly. Does not struggle with distance from the boot. Cohen Bosch easily clearing the halfway line and giving Ruan Fenter the chance to run back at the defense. Met by Etzebet. Uh, pushing it against him, was available. As, as an enforcer growing in the South African game, surely Etzebet must be a role model for Ruan Fenter. Just 20 years old, the number seven for the Lions. Low drifting to the outside. Great pass outside to Frankie Horn, who feeds it back into Weapon X. Henku van Veek. Van den Berg. Nohamba, just outside the Sharks' 22-meter line now. What can they make of it? Low. It's accidental offside, kicked into his own player. Well, no, that the Sharks try has just kicked the lines into gear as well. All of a sudden, moving the ball around, finding a bit of space on the outside. Set. The battle continues at scrum time. Sharks getting some go forward this time. And Bata pops up penalty to the home team. Number one, Wintry's knees. And then two out. Grant Williams looking to get things going. What a tackle by Marius Lowe. In over the ball, but Werner Koch is there to protect. Dogged stuff from the former Blitzbach. Grobler right taken to ground. Looks like a penalty advantage. Five tackle. Five 
Tackle. Clever Ganya, I think, was the man who popped out that scrum first, which is why it was the Sharks penalty. The tap and go, nice quick one. Smashed back by Morris. So maybe maybe you, that's why you. there wasn't a second tap and go. <laughs> nice kick from Kerr and Bosch. That's a wrap tackle. Somehow he managed to get his head out the way, I think. Oh, this may be a little bit of shoulder to head, not oh, rugby incident. On we go, Grobler down to Williams, well taken in the end. Bosch, away to fence it. The Sharks back line looks ready to fire. Um. Dealing with the defender. His opposite number, Van Veek. Williams sends it away. Sharks crossing the gain line at will. Yet again, they've looked sharp in this first half. Fenter to the line. He tries for the dream offload. Second one knock on. First one backwards. And on a pick up. Knock on. You can understand the thinking, but to your point, the dream offload, it's. 50-50 sometimes this is a maybe a 10% coming off it's in the traffic play has been wrapped up all around it's not gonna it's not the the patient build up to a country would want to see guys let's go you also take a while to put your feet back so i'm waiting for you for your feet to go back then i'll give it a set let's increase the setup please Referee Mornay Ferreira hurrying up the shots. We have another scrum battle on our hands here. Yeah, also talking about the feet and getting the feet back. You need a moment to just get them running. And technique so important. Crouch! Bind! better for the Sharks this week as compared to the struggles against the Storms last wait. week. Wait for the set call. Some of those struggles caused by a former Lions, DC Tolle. Crouch! Bind! Set! Slight split to the Lions back line. Yeah, use it. Hugh and Horn waiting on the left with a little fun of it. Nohamba quite flat to the right. There he is. His captain outside him. He goes long, does Nohamba. Off the side of the boot. Well, we've seen one or two knock ons today, really, but that's probably the first blatant error we've seen and an unfortunate one for Samuel Nohamba. The idea was right. Bit of space to kick into, trying to get out of that danger zone. Not always putting into play from Sharks as deep as that. Good, yeah. Well, the Sharks at times have tried to speed Five. things up with the quick throws and the tap and goes, but right now just slowing it down a little, trying to play the game at their own pace. Butter feeds rising high is Evan Etzebeck. Quickly away by Fenter to Williams. I'm in the midfield, sets the right quick ball again for the Sharks, looking to whip around the corner, Mapimpi. Solid defensive line from the Lions. Flat ball there from Am to Williams. Tackle now, release. Very much being big brothered by Emmanuel Chituka, who is the small brother of Vincent Chituka. The Sharks still in possession in the Lions 22. Can they find another chink in the armor here? Need to produce a couple of quick ruck balls. Not feet. Williams goes around. Oh, drop goal from Kerwin Bosch. It's good. Well, before the game, Evan Van Rooyen spoke about both teams being desperate for the win. 
you're kicking drop goals in the first half like this and accumulating points, it just shows how important it is for the Sharks to get, to get the win up and above anything else. And a drop kick is superbly struck by Bosch. Decent option. Take the points when you can, we'd say. The crowd want to see tries, though, don't they? <laughs> crowd have many demands here in Durban. But they will be very happy to see the Sharks get back on board. Two out of ten wins this season. If they win every single match from now until the end of the season, they'll probably sneak into the top eight. But the winning needs to start right now. Williams. The ten-point gap between the sides now. Taking his time. Fundamental under this Werner Koch flying. 100% commitment on every kick chase from Werner Koch is what you can expect. Q and one. Not a great kick. I don't have a clear touch. I don't have a clear touch. Was just a little nervy to go into his Time's right off. foot there, wasn't he? Hooked it off the left and got the, touch. the hook. Time's off. Number two's down. Yeah. I'm not a doctor. I'll let him leave it to them. All right, he's claiming that Kerwin Bosch got a hand on that. He let it freedom for it. I get it from but it's, it's a bad execution. I can hear him for me. Seems absolutely convinced as well. Doesn't bite it down again. I put on, but you had the freedom to execute your offer. That's how I thought. Yeah, I'm not a doctor. Starting ahead of Karen van Vieren today. Sees Danny Oerster out of the squad. Of course, everybody waiting for the one and only Bongi Umbanati. Yeah. So it seems that there maybe wasn't a touch. We're certainly going to play as if there wasn't a touch. Bounce back on. Well, Kroble with a half jump to claim that one. Interesting line out from the Sharks. They don't set the rolling mall off the back of it. They head to the back line, and Mapimpi takes it in. Step. Williams to Etzebet. Etzebet with the soft hands away. Here's in chair. Good space for Fenter to run into. Here's Francois Fenter. Fenter takes them on. Five meters out now. The Sharks. Can they secure ball? Williams is going to play it blind. Van den Berg has to make up ground on Bosch. Solid tackle. Williams has to improvise. Goodness gracious. Acrobatic finish from the number nine. That's what the crowd want to see. That's what they've come here for. The spectacular. And boy, wasn't that spectacular. Ron Williams. We know how quick he is. We know the pace he's got. We know the vision he's got. Yep. He's seen a little space in the corner. He's propelled himself forward. And he has scored the try. Absolutely brilliant. So quick off the mark, round the corner before anyone can do anything in the air. Brilliant. Is he a Springbok scrum off or is he a Springbok wing? From that evidence. Well, he's a Springbok try scorer, that's for sure. <laughs> Natural finisher. Owen Bosch, who's locked down the number 10 jersey this season. He's putting in perhaps his best performance thus far. With a chance to make it a 17-point game. Unsuccessful this time for Kerwin Bosch. 15 points separate the sides. Sharks 18, Lions 3. Yeah, I don't think anyone saw that coming up. Big lead for the Sharks early, courtesy of that Grant Williams try. Good time to score as well with five minutes or so till the half time break. Good run as well from Francois Fenter, realizing there was a bit of space. 
good driving run, took the space, accelerated. Couldn't free anyone up on the outside as much as Mapimpi was there, but took the tackle, and from there, Williams is over. Q and Horn sends it high and long to get us back underway. Labuskachny, the receiver again, busting through the half gap. Got it five, never on side. And share lazy play from the Lions, another penalty easily given away. And after a hotly contested first half, the Lions have allowed the Sharks to put a bit of daylight between these two sides. Five, never on side. Darren Lansberg, the man penalised. Never on side was the call. Never on side, but they're making the tackle. It's the one thing you don't want to do, actually. Get a ball. Consider a try and then give away a soft penalty and a, and a free escape, really. Which is what the Sharks will have here. Chance for Kevin and Bosch to kick it downfield, fine touch, start with the line right, out there, maybe even come away with more points before the half time break. Right? And from Ryan will be thinking about whether the, the two or three week break was good for them or not. Right now, he'll be thinking it's not so good. The rest would have done them well, but they've lost a bit of momentum. There's no doubt about that. On the line, Reid. Yeah, Consider how many penalties the Sharks gave away last week. Butter to the back this time. On. Knock on from the lines that took that In the ball. Air, knock on red. And then knock on black. And got it swinging around. In the air, first off, red. Good contest. Got the hand in there. Just, the back there. just those fingertips just propelling it across the line. Frankie Horn was competing at the back of the lineup. Probably not known for his uh, line out exploits. Crouch! It's a nice attacking position for the Sharks. Set! Three minutes to play till the end of the first half. The Hollywood Bet Sharks, the home team, have a chance to strike again. Bosch sends it wide to Am. Um, kick over the top. Van den Berg has to monitor this one. Great pressure from the Sharks. You bought, you bought time Clever please. kick from the canyon. Building pressure, building pressure. It just seems like the whole game has been played down there in the Lions territory, and it's the clever little boot of all these Sharks players. Apalele Fassi early on, Kerwin Bosch, Lucanio Am now. Lions just that must be feeling all the time like they're under pressure to get out of their red zone and never really playing the game. There it is, 72% territory for the Sharks. The Lions have been down in their own danger zone for a lot of this first half. And it's mentally taxing when you're under pressure all the time. Franke Horn on defence and attack, rising high at line-out time. Diversifying a skill set. Eight out. Just as eight out, the half spot at number eight has opened up in the green and gold with the retirement of Dwayne Vermeulen. Of course, first in line for that Jasper Visa. Oh, there's a cue there, isn't there? <laughs> the Lions on the march. Here's Frankie Horn still in control. Ripped. No obstruction. Oh, ripped by James Fenter. Very sharp stuff. Chaos ensues thereafter. Here's Mapimpi. Good run from Mapimpi into the traffic. Playing in their own half for once. The Sharks, here's in check. Thank you. The final minute of the first half ticks around and Williams looked like he was dummying the kick there. Bosch over the top. There's some space to run into here. The kick's slightly too long, perhaps. Horn able to snatch it out of the skies. 
the Lions forced to consolidate. They have a distance to travel if they want to score before the end of the first half. But they have what they've lacked for 64 percent of the first half, and that's possession. Fundamentally, does well, then sends it wide to Horn. Horn shaping up the defender, but uh, looks like he's suffering somewhat. Trying to bet. Oh, look at the line speed there on Landsberg. He was hunted. Is it? The Lions taking their time now. Well, Vandenberg is going to turn to the kick chase with 10 seconds to go in the first half. Creel is after this. Kick too long. Fussy takes it. Fussy always keen. Whoa. Brought down again. Just has so much initiative. Penalty Lions. Number nine, Ray, first man on his feet. More than Vandenberg, first man there. Hands on the ball. Thumbs off. Pheasant Butters again, very slow to get his feet as well. James Frank has been treated, Pheasant Butters desperate to get some help as well. Been in the oars a little bit, Mornay van der Berg. Not been easy for him, playing most of the game inside his own half, inside his own danger zone, down the puck of forwards that's been dominated in the tight loose. Fassi beats the first defender again into that little bit of space. Vandenberg first there. Hands on the ball, great steal. Good juggling. Blood up. Lion, James Fenter blood. down for treatment. Blood up. Okay, blood up. Six so blood. I think it's a blood bend here. There's a bit of a clash yeah. of heads there. Bloody nose. Not as pretty as he was an hour ago. <laughs> well, he was in and around the Lions side. The last time they won here back in 2017. George Cronier, youth prodigy of South African rugby, comes onto the field two times. You know, say schools player SA under 20 as well. He was at the Cheetahs. He's moved to the Sharks after a good showing there last season. The Lions team that last won here had the likes of Velton Giantes, Harold Foster, Lionel Mapu, Cordinal Skosan, Kwaha Smith, all sorts of quality players. Malcolm Marks in the hooker position. Decent lineup, wasn't it? It sure was. <laughs> Entertaining team. Well, they do have an opportunity now. Just 30 meters out. Chance to finish the first half on a high. More. Big chance. And Franke Horn takes it at the Black front of the line after the Lions get going. It's in touch. That's right to ground. In touch. Yeah. That'll be the half indeed. The Sharks doing tremendously well with that line out defense. Suspicion. Well, next week, hopefully. Any chance for the Lions here in the second half? Oh, tough pass. They've, they've, they've got to score first, I think, most importantly. Q and Horn gets us back underway. He gets some serious height on those kickoffs. And Gebran Grobler, once yeah, again, the feet. player underneath. 15 points between the teams. Sharks looking far more composed than they have almost all season long. Williams looks longingly after that. Nohamba showing that you don't need the height to be a king of the skies. Van den Berg to Landsberg. Looking for go forward, he goes backwards. On the back of a tackle from Joel Hintz, who's come on at halftime. In his second match for the Sharks, beautiful inside ball that from Ebel van der Merwe to Chituka. Considering the humidity, the handling's been very good today. Yeah, it has been good. But, but, but again, you know, we say that, and as soon as the Lions really started finding a little bit of continuity, a little bit of rhythm, they've, they've not managed to look after the ball. Under five. The other element, I guess, you would consider right. is that so very good said it earlier, the Sharks' defence all season has probably not been up to scratch. It's been a whole yep. lot better today. Yep. Taking the space, they've come up, they've closed the gaps. Made sure the lines are under pressure. It has helped that they've kept the lines pinned down in their own half and really have a very little opportunity to have a real go at it. So I know Jacobs is the man who's been replaced by Joel Hintz. Crouch! Turn up. We're too close to the side. Should open the gap yet? He was here to eight with him. Just a bit bigger gap. Okay. 
Joel Hintz joins the Vodacom URC from the United States of America. The New England Free Jets, his last team, won the national championship with Hawks Bay a few years back. A union with which coach John Blanchy has some close connections. Yeah, he got a bit of game time coach. last week, didn't he? And Boys. probably probably didn't shine as much as he would have liked to. Set. And he's gone to ground. Yeah. Let's move I guess it's expected, really. First scrum, first bit of real contact. Yeah. Just going to adjust Take your feet. Keep your above. Yeah. I think Mornay Ferreira will be as kind as not giving away a penalty next time that scrum goes down on that far side. So the former power lifter, Joel Hintz, is going to have to hold up his scrum on that end. Crouch! Point! Set! Use it! Solid scrum, the Sharks just can't get that go for it though, and Vanacock drops it cold. Maybe eyes up, having a little look there. Joel Hintz held that scrum up just long enough to get the ball out, and then it collapsed on that far side. He's down on his side. Yep. And Vanacock, yep, eyes up, just having a little look to see where the defense was. Let's speed it up. Let's Doesn't it make up. many mistakes. Vanacock can offer so much at the breakdown. These seven skills come into it. He's, he's like another loose forward at times, as well as being an outstanding winger. And probably the highest work rate in South African rugby. Never say die attitude Vanacock has. Undoubtedly honed during those seven years with the Blitzbox between 2013 and 2020 with that Blitzbox team. Coach! Point! Set! The scrum battle continues. The penalty comes Number the way of the Lions. Number six, full front row. Number six. James Fenter penalised for coming around stop. and creating a fourth front row, I guess. Stop, stop, stop now. It's an interesting interpretation. There's a lot of pressure there. Real good contest, great battle. Yeah, yeah. So look out for James Fenter on the near side here. Who goes up first? It's Kabakanya who well, goes I'll up first. And Fenter then comes round. He's really just followed Oxen chair round, isn't he? It's, it's a, maybe a tough call on him. Both front rows seemingly unsure of which way that penalty will go. The Lions get the benefit. Can no humble put the cherry on top make it a 12-point game. Clean strike from Nohamba. It falls short of the posts, and Fassi is there to clear. Well, up at altitude, he kicked it from that distance quite easy, but he down here at the coast. Okay. Probably yours. travels 10 or 12, maybe even 15 percent less, depending on how humid it humid it is. I think he okay, got underneath yours. it a little bit. Not sure the strike was as good as he needed. Certainly not as good as he wanted. In opposition territory, Porter feeds the line out. The disruption doesn't cause a knock-on, and Van den Berg looking for options. Here's Van den Berg for pizza tackle. Van den Berg to Skuman. Oh, that first channel defense has been uncompromising from the Sharks. Skuman slips away, wins a few more meters. Here's Fenter. Van den Berg away to Nohamba. The defensive line of the Sharks absolutely ferocious at the moment. Nohamba waits for Van den Berg's pass, changes direction to Landsberg. 
and Hunter Madva has to send that one wide where Horn is waiting with the chip over the top from the big number eight. It looks pretty well measured as well. Horn is after this and Francois Fenter has time to deal with it. Fassi, who by far has the most running meters in the game, turns to the left boot. It's a slice. The Lions on the front foot still. Well, Admiral Fanamava was coming across from the far side, trying to put pressure on Apolele Fass. He did so really well. Maybe Fall that's off. why this last game. Five, nice three. little kick over the top two from Lions number eight, Frankie Horn. Standing out on the wing, got it static, realised there was space in behind, popped it over nicely. Holiday time, summer holidays here in Durban. Six. Time back on. Neil Diamond, crowd favourite in every stadium in the world. <laughs> TJ Porter, oh, crucial lineup, disrupted again. The shots are onto this Lions lineup now, and Fenter gets it away to Fenter. Bosch. Oh, that is a clean yep. strike from Bosch. It's carried Fenter. back. Oh. It's a clean strike, but just carry back. <coughs> lucky release there for the Lions. They'll go back and have an attacking option just inside the 22 of the Sharks. They've had so little ball down in this zone. Really have to be accurate now. And the line out under pressure, you said it, the Sharks have got the line out number at the moment. Porter feeds, Horn receives, here's Chituk. And that was far too close to the game line, and the Lions end up knocking it on. The Sharks have a chance to counter. Many defenders covering that, so arm goes long. Sanel Rohamba takes his time. Clears the ball for the Sharks. Good work in the end. Coach Keller, isn't it? Just when you desperate to get points on the board you finally get a set play in the opposition 22 and the first thing you do is make a mistake Maybe. many years a halfback at the Sharks no humber he's a player reborn for the Emirates Lions starting at all times now at number 10 Mbata feeds it a bit, no problems at line-out time for the Sharks. Clean ball for them to work with, and Francois Fenter crashing it up. He's keeping Ruan Jante van Rensburg out of that jersey. He waits on the bench, Jante van Rensburg, to apply that impact that only he can. The Sharks come piling in, but they can't win it back. The Lions pinned in their own territory again. As they so often were in the first 40 minutes. Nahamba off to Fanamarva, looking to create something from deep now. Edward Fanamarva sends it to Frankie Horn, who's patrolling the wings. Use it. Fanamarva. Big options available to him. He looks for Fenter. And the Sharks go hunting again. That first and second channel ball has been no good for the Lions because the Sharks are flying up. Fannenberg, contestable kick for Creel to chase. Bosch under that, well taken. Horn in for the turnover, it's popped loose, a knock on from the Lions. Creel fighting to get out of the way, he's done very well in the end. It's a bit carries. Still a scrum advantage. Williams to in chair. Bosch, now um, no more advantage for the Sharks. Svanamerva catches that kick, not quite accurate from Am. Misses the tackle in Horn. He's on a half break. Fenter possibly making tackle, making contact with the neck, and there is the penalty advantage for the Lions. The second half being played very much around the halfway line. Can the Lions find a way to break? Now Humba accelerating into a half gap. Now he's committed a defender and finds Creel on the outside. The inside ball to Horn. Horn well tackled, but they're on the attack still. Fun a man fun looking to get rid of the defender. Bosch makes his hit. Penalty advantage to the Lions for the high shot. Porter sliced by Fenter. Not a lot of arms involved in that tackle either. And the Sharks are making sure to stunt the momentum of the Lions. Here's Hanku van Veik running at the biggest man on the field at Sabeth and crossing the game line. 
in the opposition 22. What can the Lions make of this? Fenter once again involved in a no-arms tackle. Yep. So got, got another one in there. I spoke to you yeah. about high tackle, high tackle, no off tackle. Okay. I gave him a warning. I gave him a warning. Well, formerly of the Red and White Parish, James Fenter. He has moved to the Sharks a few years back. No, no, we went to player, isn't he? He's not the biggest man on the field. He throws that body on the line, as you can see. Sharks, let's go. You go, you good there. Time back on. A young buccaneer. <laughs> Wearing black, shouting for the Lions. <laughs> Board to the field. Crucial line up for the Lions. No Whoa, jump line out. And they get it to Franco Horn. They're trying to get the rolling wall going here. Trick play from the Lions. Can they keep their feet? Oh, they're trying to fight their way to the line. It's going to be a penalty try. Well, they're right back in it now. Number five. More moving forward. Clear collapse. Number five. Oh, and a yellow card to boot. Kevin Hobler, the man who is going to spend 10 minutes in the Sinbin. Well, strong wall. No, we can't. There's a lot of water. Yeah. Time is off. Problem. One oh, and two. Let's just dive down and collapse the whole One thing. and two shots. Got that spot on as Monet Pereira. Penalty try it is. Just what the visiting team needed. Thank you. Ready? Kenan Van Feeren onto the field for the Hollywood Bets Sharks to win his 45th Vodacom URC cap. Time back on. The players from the South African franchise is getting those cap numbers up finally. Fenter underneath the high ball there from the restart as the Sharks now lead by eight points after that penalty try. It's outside. And there's 10 minutes in the sin bin for Grobler. Use it. Vandenberg has not been in a rush all game long. Very composed Touched. at the base. And this line side that is so much more familiar with themselves in this Vodacom URC season than they have been previously. They know how to play. They're on a four match winning streak, but off a three week break over Christmas. Francois Fenter has been putting in a tremendous effort this afternoon. Williams away to Butelezi. Good sharp hands from the Sharks. Van Fielen. Got a turnover is good. Good turnover is good for the Lions. Leave it now, Black. Just as the Sharks were building momentum. And Vandenberg looks to hack it clear, keeping it in field outside of his own 22. Here's Mapimpi. Scored a try very early in the match. Mapimpi. Krill tried to get onto that, but Pippi did well on the ground to squirrel it away. Hence, good tackle from Vandenberg, well behind the game line, and the Sharks with the momentum stunted are forced to change tactics. Chasing after this will be Mapimpi. He's in good position, Krill rising high. Spent some time at Zebra last year, last season. 
back in South Africa in the red jersey. Van den Berg taking it into the teeth of the Sharks' defence. 15 against 14. Backwards. Still for the Lions. Backwards is the call as Bort had the juggle. And the Sharks capitalise. Etzebeth gets it away quickly to Bosch. Francois Fenter barely holding on. Here's Fussy. Good strong tackle from Chituka. James Fenter, that's a solid angle from the flanker. And here's Cork. Oh boy, man, and Cork catches it this time and makes his presence felt on North Nachel. Here comes Hens. Good tackle from Marius Lowe. Etzebeth at first receiver. Looking to make it happen. But the Lions defensive line well spread. And a man to the good as well. Here's Fussy. Takes it to the line. No attempt to jackal from the Lions. Here's Van Feeden. Eating up time for the yellow card with ball in hand. Oh, the Sharks after that sharp turnover. It's a bad met in defense. Man down for the Lions. Butelezi knocked backwards. And medical attention on the field for that player. Hold on. And Play that's the right thing to do. Safety first. So it will be black ball. Referee Mornay Ferreira calling a halt to play so that the medics could get on and treat Mornay van den Berg, who has really been through it this afternoon. What happened there, Q? Well, he's moving yeah, his I legs now, which is a good, good I think he said it was on the wrong side of tackle. He's obviously taken a, oh, yeah. he's taken a blow he's straight to the side of the hip to head. Great referee, to be fair. Mornay Pereira realizing there's a real problem. Close it quickly. Gets Thank the help you. to Mornay van der Berg that he needs. Great bit of a attack play again, though, from the Sharks. Nice pulled up, forcing the Lions to make a lot of tackles. A man down, as you said. Part of it winding down the clock, keeping ball you in hand, but part of it, you know, driving you can, forward, the trying to will be a create about a scoring opportunity, even if they're down the man. Fabian problem. Good to see him back after a little spell out the game. He's in the sin bin though because of this. Watch out. This whole thing just collapses here. He's just joined at the back and now down to ground he goes and everything falls over him. Penalty try it is and of course if you've given away the penalty try it almost has to be a yellow card. Not sure it was his intention but it certainly was the result. That's right, almost a guaranteed double Make jeopardy a from a penalty try situation such as that. Oh, fantastic to see Mornay van den Berg back on his feet. He's tough as nails. And in an unusual situation, uh, it's top-level professional rugby. Their substitute scrum off is yeah. playing well. Yeah, 6-2 bench for the Lions. It's probably not what the Lions would have wanted. The one player they would have wanted kept on for the full 80 minutes, Mornay van den Berg. But there's no doubt he's not coming back. He's, yep. uh, he's been unconscious. He'll go and have a head injury assessment, which no doubt will show that he's not able to come back on. Right, so, Jordan Hendrickson makes his way on. At some point later in the game, you fancy he'll play against his brother, Jaden, on the other side. Boy, he showed some real great signs 18 months ago and just not favoured in that position in the lines at the moment. Because... Nohambo has been being played in the town. And Hendricks are making his way back Five. into the team. Set. Where does his future lie? Williams feeds the Third down, play away. Pepsi Butale is he breaking from the back. Chituka makes his hit. It's a bit around the corner. Speculatively, allowing the Lions to make a dominant hit on him. Williams plays it away. He's still 14 against 15 are the Sharks for the next six and a half minutes. Labuskachny. Seen plenty of ball. Hold. Yes. Bosch sends one high. Slightly shallow, but still the Lions will struggle to deal. A PP in position. Backwards is the call. And the Sharks win back possession. Somehow, some way. Butelezi sees Nohamba in front of him and goes at the youngster. Never on the ball. Never on the ball. They might have been teammates at school, those two. 
as Williams away to Edson Beth. Williams to Bosch. Oh, strong run from Kuno. Still, they retain possession to the Sharks as they have so often in this match. Still up at 60%. It was up towards 67 in the first half. Marius Lowe looking to change the circumstances, and Kabakanya comes flying through. Lions will be itching to get ball back in hand to capitalize on this man advantage before Krobler returns. Etzebeth with another carry. Kuno spotted, marshaled. Diving Side over the ball. Wow. Number six side entry. James Fenter. No. Identified again. Going for the ball and six side entry. Strong defense again from the Lions. Every time poor old Yemen Etzebet comes around the corner and carries, gets smashed backwards. It's almost like what a vendetta. <laughs> James Fenter's given away a couple this afternoon, hasn't he? Well, a couple of changes now coming for the Emirates Lions. The whole front row being changed. On to uh, Kamanri Sergal. Thank you. So, it's a, it's a brand new front row. And to be fair, the starting front row were really good. The Manuel Chatuka also making yeah, way. He's, out of, he's put in a good shift. I'm surprised to see him being changed. Okay, he's good. Water off. Good time Water for off. fresh legs. He's up. Water okay. off. Okay, black. Line's yours. Let's hold him, JD. So with that 6-2 split, okay. most of Someone. the Lions' version of the bomb squad onto the field. So they have JC Pretorius waiting on the bench. Over the 15. Over the 15 is the call. Frank de Horn trying to track it. It's chaos and Hendrickson. Able to capitalize. Tackler. Number six still in the way. Van Fieren looked to be in position, but oh, yeah. the number six has <laughs> been pinged again. Stop. Coming, it's like deja vu. Stop. Poor old James Fenter. He's stop, stop, stop now. found himself I was happy with it. in that position the to give away the penalty quite 50. a few times of late. So. At one point this afternoon, it was 18 points to three. Could well be a five-point game after this as we see James Fenter. Well, I guess he hasn't really made enough effort to get out of the way there, to be fair. He's got to move away faster than that. more manageable range this time he knocks it over still 15 against 14 and the Lions now trail by five when you asked at half time what do the Lions have to do we said they've got to score first they've scored first and second and they're right back in this one they've got a grit about them just that extra element that they were lacking in the past two seasons and they've made a game of it here the restart taken in and taken in well by Reinhard Notnachel He's back from an ankle injury today, and Fenter carries it up. He's been well monitored by the Sharks. Can be extremely devastating on the run, can Ruan Fenter, a 20-year-old. Two stops. Sanel Nohamba. Once again, not much depth on that, but tremendous effort in the air from Edward Van der Man. Grant Williams has made way, it means... Jaden Hendrick says on, so it is brother against brother now. Well, might be a five-point game, but the win predictor is still saying the Sharks are out and out favourites. And the draw, a big possibility. A try would square it up. I get the feeling a draw would be the most disgusting result for the Sharks fans. They came to win. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Doc Craven famously said, it's like kissing your sister. It's, uh, the result no one wants. Over. Both teams want to win. But the Sharks okay, looking to make that happen here. The five points. Okay, use it lead now. that they have looking to hold on to. And Hendrickser, Jaden Hendrickser, oh, frees it from that mall. Um, 
Had it stripped away from him. Sergio. And Fenter applies boot to ball. Not a bad hack from the big loose forward. What a kick it turns out to be. It's a great kick, isn't it? It was like the urgency kick. It was the desperate kick, but what a kick it was. Who won Fenter? I don't know if oh, it's a can you own ball in one hand, just tackle backwards, the I ball know, popped down. It's a, a, a kick under pressure, a good kick under pressure. Got to speed it up. Well, that final change in the Lions back and forwards has come. Jason Petorius is now on the field. Off has come the man who just kicked it. Ruan Fenter, good game he had. Van Feeren feeds the line out. Another successful one for the Sharks has been the foundation of their good form here today. Tremendous kick as well. Well measured. Kewen Horn underneath it with immaculate timing. Etzebeth almost in position to go for that ball. Lost his balance wisely. Went beyond it. Jordan Hendricks uh, tries to feed Henry Serge. Well, and on the back of the hand from Am. Um, then the grabber kick under pressure. No, no, no. There's the second of the brothers, Jaden Hendrickson. Yeah. Yes. Different player to Grant Williams, isn't he? Much Perfect. more of a controlling, okay. kicking Thank scrum you. off where Grant Williams yep. is, you know, the out and out little pace man, sniping, wanting to carry the ball as we see the little error there. The knock on from Sergio. Uh, 100% agree. Just not break down there. Just reminds me of that one Sabun Corsi challenge. Try that Sabun Corsi once scored for the Springboks out the back of the hand from Lucanio. Memories. Oh, yeah. So it's a great moment from the great Lucanio as we see. A couple of changes. Right, let's go. Slavis Hackney comes off. On comes George Bronier. Yellow card has gone, been and gone. Kame Rahl is replaced. Fabron Probler. Probler is still on the field, actually. And Cohen Bosch has given way for Butter Chamberlain. Time back on. Ruan Janssen van Rensburg Crouch. waits on the bench for the Sharks. Point! Steady! Oh, oh. Jaden Hendricks feeds the scrum. It's another penalty to the Lions at scrum one. time. Hinging in. Elbow down. Hinging. One more. Decision starting to go in the way of the visiting team. Spoke about the importance of discipline. The Sharks' discipline in the second half has not quite been there, and it's it's not Joel Lentz who's gone down. It's Mintutuko and Tunu who's gone down on the near side. We were holding our breath, thinking it was Joel Lentz. He's short and stocky, and still maybe settling down, but it was Mintunu who went down. Another. Quite messy Lockheed. line out for the Lions. They have the scrum advantage on the back of that. Ooh, head down and power forward. Ruan Smith, the highly experienced front ranker for the Lions. Morgan Nordia fighting through the contact in between the 10 meter and the 22. It's a big old head. No advantage. No problem. Guess who? Who else? In a line out. Well, you've got to say, yeah, but it's a bit. He was injured last week, couldn't play. He's so again, throughout his career, he's copped a little bit of criticism yeah, every now and then for you know having his best games for the Springboks. But boy, when he's played for the Sharks, so we need to get, get it in the last higher. 12 months, he doesn't get the opportunity to play as often as he probably wants to. He has put his heart in his sleeve and given yeah, everything. Agreed. And today's been no different. Let's go, guys. Carried the ball up as often as possible. He's, okay, there's a mark. he's been in a contact situation. He's come up and. Yes, he's picked on the flop, but he has smashed it backwards. Keep the gap on bind. Let's get the height higher. Crow! 
Ouch! Point! Six! Keep it up! Keep it up! Big scrum Play away, for the Sharks. Down. To not give away a scrum penalty, which they've managed, not humble. Great offload there to Fundamentalbo, who took it in motion. It's proved difficult for a couple of players in the second half. Quick ball for the Lions, they're on the corner again. Here's the captain, Lowe. Don't have a plethora of numbers out to this side, but they've got plenty of dedication as they approach the 22-meter line of their opposition. Henku van Veek breaks the first tackle. Across the game line, into the 22, Nohamba. Smith. Leaning into the contact. Seen plenty of balls since coming onto the field. Next up, it's Jakub Fasahi, slightly slower for the Lions, and they're being hunted now. Seven specialist, J.C. Pretorius. In his seventh URC away. appearance, Nahamba. Away to Hendrickson, he is low. The former Shark. Making a meter or two, the Lions staying consistent in attack, holding it in hand. Five points separate the sides. Less than 14 to play. Horn with the cross kick to the outside. Oh, oh that is near perfect. Near perfect for Edward van der Merwe. Oh, good idea. Kieran Horn, the kicker. The, the very educated it. little left foot of his. Got the option. Just overcooked uh, it ever so lineup. slightly. Line may have been a question as to whether Edward van der Merwe was on side. Oh, so close. To be fair, Vanakok was coming across, Putter Chamberlain no, 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 was true. getting across there as well. Go and again, you know, we, we've said it, the Sharks defence not always on point in the last few weeks. Numbers. Making a lot of tackles through that set of phases and forcing the Lions to kick an attack kick as they sort of run out of ideas, run out of attacking ideas. No. Line out perfection from the Sharks continues. Etzebeth, the receiver. Unable to get that go forward with the rolling mall today. The Lions defense has been strong. And Venacock underneath that ball. He just couldn't hold on. Backwards into touch. Thought he passed that into the midfield. <laughs> Loves a bit of mischief. So there was quite a clever bit of play there from the Lions players, realizing that Van Kock was going to come through and try and take it. They almost left him to grab it. I think the idea would have been to tackle him into touch and get the line up, but he didn't take it cleanly. So the end result was exactly what they wanted. Sharks line out's been good today. And the Lions once again, Messi. That's a third one lost. Some of the ball they've Retained has been a little uncomfortable. It's, it's in the line out, so it's on the 15. Get him off. So the little attempt to throw to the front there. Good time off. Tracy Pretorius couldn't gather. The idea was probably good. It's wonderful to see all the kids here in the stadium again, isn't it? I know it's summer rugby and it's holiday season, but wonderful, just wonderful. Of course, here in Durban, you can go to the beach and to the game. You yeah. can get it both done yeah. on a day like today. Beautiful on the beach this morning, I would think. There's a grumpy one. Like it or not, you're coming to the yeah, going to the rugby. <laughs> the shoulder change your feet the 19,000 plus sharks fans that have turned out today for this festive rugby extravaganza that's gone on all around the country and around okay, of course go. europe as well in the urc the storm is getting about 37 okay, and 38,000 in back-to-back derbies against the bulls and the lions okay, let's form. five points between the teams john how do you see it playing on well, I think, you know, we've, we've said it all along, you've got to cut out the errors on the lines. We had a sort of seven or eight minute spell where they were clinical, kicked the ball, Crouch. made the right decisions, kicked to the corner, got the penalty Five. try, had the advantage of a man who didn't really manage to exploit it, probably because the shocks were clever and kept the ball. Steady. But maybe the errors right now just costing the lines a 
the, oppor the opportunity oh. to find a way to score that winning try. Directly, it's almost yeah. like a carbon copy of the first half. It seems like the Lions have had all the territorial advantage in the second. Man on screen, he's run 107 meters today. The next best 46 from the Lions, and that is for James Fenter. He's just running at all times this season, is Fussy. And John Plumtree must have given him a license. And I think it's part of the game plan, isn't it? Because fullback, if, if you're going to play the counter attacking game, you're always going to have the most running meters. And that's exactly what the Sharks have done there. They try and play quickly, they try to you know, use the tips, go side to side, find space. Fussy, a big part of that endeavor. Over. Great lineup that time from the Lions. Tremendous amount of misdirection employed, and Ibn Etzebeth unable to compete against Franke Horn. But now, as the Lions are powering through the center, do the Sharks have the numbers to stop this mall? Etzebeth trying to tackle it into touch. He's on the line. Successfully so. Just got a bit too close to the touch line there. Henry Sergio, yeah. I think everyone was, I was controlling the ball and the Sharks realized the touchline was their big line yep. of defense, their big defender on the outside and forced the Lions hand and the Lions just couldn't, couldn't stop the momentum and ended up outside Almost. the field of play. It's okay. right there in the middle, now he drags it towards the touchline. Come with me, into touch we go. He is a one-man army. And he's on a march to become the most kept Springbok of all time. Should he stay fit in the months and years to come? Ivan Etzebeth, a national hero, a two-time Frankie World Cup winner, slayer of the British and Irish Lions. He's done it all. What a career he has had. And there's still plenty more to come. Okay, water off. It's a family affair here in Durban. They'll be desperate for victory. Ten minutes to play. Sorry. Five points between the teams. Time back on. Pressure line out for Kieran van Fieren. They get it right again. Hrubler rising high. Here's oh James Fenter laying down the law against his former Lions teammates. Great run from the man with the second most meters in the game. Jaden Hendrickson. But that box kicking style of his doesn't really drag it away from potential charge down artists. And I've seen some trouble on the back of it. Yeah, and, and to be fair though, the Lions haven't really put him under much pressure, have they? We've seen Evan Etzebeth putting one of Ander Berg under pressure. Um, Williams and Hendrickson both had almost free reign to kick up at will with very little pressure put on them. So he's still down here in Sharks territory, the Lions win the line out though. Quickly taken and this time they get it right. Marius Lowe with the offload and contacts. The Lions flooding to the left, they think they can create an overlap here. They get it to Horn. Horn puts it on the boot. Well marshalled by Mapimpi. That's brilliant from Mapimpi to be Ball's across available. on the far side. No, no. Brilliant. Last feet. Jaden Hendrickson. Joel Hintz on the carry. In an interesting addition has hints coming in from America, the New Zealander. His front row cover. And he's won himself two caps already. Into touch. Ryan's still on the front foot. Still under a little bit of pressure. But, but, the Lions have got to keep the ball in hand if they want to capitalize. The Sharks have covered the kicks pretty well, haven't they? Pimpy's worked hard to get around the corner across to the far side, fussy has been good under any ball that's come his way. Jakub Zaghi feeds the line out quality stuff to North Nachel. The Lions have to be accurate now, less than eight minutes to play. No Kieran van Fieren penalised. No oh, no clear, clear release. Don't mind seeing that again. Well, I think they've got to go to the corner, don't they? Then. Shot clock starts now. 
shot it's going to be. Time to kick two penalties, you would think, maybe. My initial reaction was he was a little bit unlucky, yeah? Oh, there's no release. 100% right. Pivotal kick, this for Sanada Mohamba. Oh boy! 22. A son of the soil, Sanada Mohamba slides it wide. Well, I was watching him and not the ball. As soon as he kicked it, he knew it was missing. Behind. No clear release. Oh, such a pressure kick and really needed to go. Water Chamberlain goes long beyond the 10 meter line of the Lions. And they'll run it right back at them. Cleared by Fisahi. Here is JC Pretorius. Absolute bundle of energy. The loose forward is Morgan Nordia to ground. That's the halfway line. Take him back. So we're approaching the final five minutes of the match. The Lions look to play the game in opposition territory. That is a brilliant high oh, hanging kick. Creel is after this, playing it on the ground surely from Butter Chamberlain, but he pops it up and the shot send it long. And it's bounced away from Jordan Hendrickson. Once again, has time. This boot that Jordan Hendrickson has is phenomenal. You'd swear we are at altitude here. Well, it's just four minutes to go. We'll be keeping the ball in hand, I guess. If you're the Lions now, the kick was so important, didn't go their way. So it's been a commanding afternoon again from the big fella, hasn't it? Not by a country mile, you would think he is the Vodacom USC player of the match. He's carried the ball up strongly, body on the line, he's contested that line out time. He's put his hand up. We thought before the game he'd be a big influence, and boy, Evan Elizabeth has delivered. Krola just about getting that one back. Nordia gets a toe to it. My pimpy under pressure. The Lions come flooding through. They'll be hungry for this. It's a big, big penalty. Four minutes to play. The Lions on the hunt. Oh, now, now what do you do now? I think you've got to go to the corner, don't you? Yep. 2017, the last time the Emirates Lions beat the Hollywood Bet Sharks. And that is a superb little dink to the corner. Black on the Can line. they win their line out now? That's the big question. He wasn't in a way. Quickly to get hands on ball there. Morgan Nordi is the, the fresh legged, loose head prop. Teddy just hold him. Wins the penalty. Oh, to be a member of the coaching team. More. Quickly taken back by Fisachi on Going the money. Over. The Lions set the rolling more. Can they get some go forward here? There's some space around the corner. And Kuno struggling to hold his ground there. Reaching out is Ivan Etzebeth, claiming that he's holding his ground. And he's from the right side. The Lions are on the other side of the line. Try for the visiting team. What a turnaround in the second half. Quietly, slowly, deliberately, they've come for it. They've come for shark blood, and they get it in the end. Still time, still time for the Sharks. Marius Lowe scoring a push over Maul tries. In there amongst the forwards. Wells and a patient, that would be the, the best word to describe this. Going nowhere to start with. The Sharks have got the little advantage in terms of disrupting Lions just keep on going, driving those legs forward. Low comes around the corner. It's a great mall try. It's a great mall try, bearing in mind you got backs amongst forwards. Disruptive defense. And then goes Mario Slow. What a comeback it's been by this Lions team in the second half. The maturity, the confidence of this team playing in red.
has come on in leaps and bounds in URC version 3. So now they're not humble. What did we say about a draw? It was 5% <laughs> was the chances of it being a draw. We said it was the worst result for both teams. A kick to ensure it's not a draw. Missed a very easy one a moment or so ago. And he's nailed it. What a kick under pressure. Sanel Rohamba puts the Lions into the lead with a minute and a half to play. Chef's kiss from the Lions. Less than 90 on the clock. Puts a Chamberlain. Goes long. Goes very long, and the Lions take it in through Hanru Sergio, who's been upended. Can they retain possession? What's the approach the Lions will take here? Nahamba surely not planning a kick. He's not. He gets it to Fasaki. In their own 22-meter line, they're playing a dangerous game. Nahamba preparing to go long now. Smith there Ball's to protect. He's not Ball is not idea, but that's a bit the shot to it. Penalty to, to the, the Sharks. Penalty to the Sharks. Oh, so put to Chamberlain's going to have a chance here to win it. You went fully down. Pressure yes. on the kickers today. No, they stood up Ball's and down, nailed clearly. it. Can Chamberlain do the same? Stop now. Ibn Etzebeth. Peerless. He is a man amongst men. So 18 wasn't the really dominance balanced, undeniable. So down, goes off his feet the quality the unquestionable. He can't go off his feet. Off the bench, in to the thick of the action. Puts a Chamberlain as the clock goes red, as the hooter sounds. The number 22 steps up to take the responsibility into his hands. One kick to win the match. Two wins from 10 this season. This to make it three from 11. to the face of the opposition. The Sharks lose again. Stunning drama in the Vodacom United Rugby Championship.